Now, when looking at a parallelogram like this, it's very, very important for us to, one, first identify that this is a parallelogram, and second, for us to make sure we can verify what are the parts of the parallelogram for the area. Now remember, the area of a parallelogram is base times height. So what we need to be able to do is determine what is the base and what is the height. Okay? So the first thing we need to determine is the base. What is this you know, parallelogram um, resting on? Now, when we look at this, you might obviously say, well, 3 has to be the base, right? But the problem with 3 being as the base, well, yes, it is sitting on the base. But then to find the height, we got to find the distance from the base to the top. Oh, 20 is not the height because 20 is that slant. Ah, Remember we discussed, if you're going to measure my height, you're going to go from my feet to my head. You're not going to measure my height from a distance over here to my head. 20 represents the length of this side, which is a slant, not the direct height. So therefore, we need to determine a different base and a different height. Now, what is helpful is I can rotate this. Remember we talked about rotating figures? If you rotate a figure, you don't change the dimensions of the figures, all right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate this so the figure now looks something like this. Does everybody see what I did? I just rotated it. And now you can see that I can write a base of 20 and a height of 7. Mm -hmm. see that? So there, yes? But if it's slanted, then how can it stand up completely straight? If it's because not completely true. flat. It is flat. No. Because when you make it But you're like, that's not the height. Yeah. yeah. She rotated it. So like the whole but the thing is, yeah, yeah. But he's like, that's not the height. This slant is not the height. Why not? Okay. Again, as well, I mentioned. Slanted. Like, it's not straight up. No one said the height. Here. Look at, here's a tree. Yeah. Right? If you're going to measure the height, you're going to go the from top. the base to the top, right? You're not going to take a point from here and measure there and say that's the height, right? That's not the height. So this, this 20 represents the distance from here to here. Mm -hmm. We need to find the distance straight down. Since we were not provided that and we don't have a means to figure it out, we're going to have to rotate it to use a different base and different height. Okay? So therefore, all I now have is area equals bank day times twice. Wait a minute. Seven. Seven. Thank you. Area equals 140. Okay? <coughs> all right. You guys ready for a medium one? <laughs>